first watch a concert. Toronto is known for its live music scene. Being a major city in North America, it's a popular destination for musicians and artists. Last summer, I went to see the Lumineers live and it was such a fantastic show. Second, go to Toronto Islands. For the nature lovers out there, you can go to Toronto Islands. It's a group of small islands located just off the coast of downtown Toronto. The Toronto Islands are actually a chain of 15 small islands. The three major islands that form the core of this group are Toronto Island, Center Island, and Wards Island. You can hop on a ferry from downtown Toronto and get there in 15 minutes. When you get there, you can rent a bike, have a picnic, swim at the beaches, or simply enjoy the stunning views of Toronto's skyline. For those traveling with children, Center Island is home to Centerville Amusement Park. It's a family-friendly attraction with rides, a petting zoo, and charming old-fashioned amusements. It's a fantastic place to spend a fun-filled day with the family. There's also Wards Island, which is a perfect spot for sunbathing and swimming. And last, but definitely not the least, is Hanlon's Point Beach, which is known for its clothing optional section. It's one of the few clothing optional beaches in Canada, and if you're into that stuff, definitely check it out. Number three, see a play. If you're a theater enthusiast, I'd recommend you check out Toronto's theater scene. My partner and I went to see Hamilton and it was such a phenomenal show. I highly recommend it. Or rom at night. If you're looking for a fun night out with friends or date night ideas, I'd recommend you check out Rom at Night. On select evenings, the Rom hosts special events with live music, food, and drinks. My partner and I went on a double day to Rom After Dark with a special focus on the world of dinosaurs. In this experience, you'll have a chance to see actual dinosaur fossils in real life. They also had dinosaur themed food and drinks, which I thought was pretty cool. I feel like that would be at least an adult one. No, because that's feathers. I think what they're saying is they have feathers when they're young.
Sarah's gonna have to use these on this affair for one Last but not the least, make sure to keep an eye out for local events when you're in Toronto. If you're a wellness enthusiast like myself, I would recommend attending Social Sunrise. Participants engage in activities like yoga, meditation, breath work, and ice baths. It's also a great way to meet like-minded people. Start to feel your body. Start to feel the little bit of shock that comes from stepping into a new and cold environment. Everything that you are experiencing right now is perfectly 100% normal. And just let your breath slow you down. And if you want to go even further into this experience, you can put your tongue at the roof of your mouth, behind your front teeth, and just breathe in and out through the nose. And that's going to stimulate this thing called the vagus nerve in your body and if we are slowing it down by using this technique of just breathing in and out through our nose if you haven't already and you feel comfortable i invite you to close your eyes and go on a little inward journey let your body your mind settle into the space and for the next 30 seconds, just use your breath to dissipate any tension that you might feel. This is your time, this is nobody else's. We've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. We are done our two minutes and give them a round of applause. If you prefer a smaller crowd, you can also try out Othership. It's a bathhouse that offers sauna and ice baths located in downtown Toronto. So I just want to chat about something that I've been absolutely loving lately, which is my Teddy Blake Ava bag. So this is it. Teddy Blake is a leather handbag, handmade in Italy. I've always been a fan of simple yet chic looking pieces and this Ava bag definitely ticks all the boxes for me. And my favorite thing about it is that it fits all my essentials without feeling bulky. It has handy pockets inside, and a zippered one outside for easy access to your keys and to your phone. And the magnetic closure is super convenient for when you're on the go. It comes with both the top handle and a detachable shoulder strap, which you can attach here. And voila. Teddy Blake offers luxury without the insane price tag. It is a fantastic blend of quality, style, and affordability. So if you're in the market for a bag that's both chic and functional, I would highly recommend that you check out Teddy Blake.